asteroids, small rocky bodies that orbit the sun, or a planet. They are formed same as planets are, particles bumping into each other and creating something bigger. Most regular asteroids have a similar appearance, 50 kilometers in diameter and mostly made of rock, various metals and minerals. There is even a whole asteroid belt in the solar system, with having estimated 2 million asteroids in it. But altogether, they contain only 4% the mass of our own moon. Now, that's a short introduction of what an asteroid is. But the interesting question is, what would standing in one feel like? Of course, it depends. Asteroids vary in size from 100 meters to 500 kilometers in diameter. Let's start with the small ones. Standing on, for example, 433 Eros, asteroid that is very close to Earth, it is more small to average size, 33 kilometers long and 13 kilometers wide. Its gravity is 0.0059 meters per second squared. That's 1,662 times lower than Earth's gravity. So if you were, for example, 70 kilograms on Earth, you would weigh about 40 grams on Eros. That is half the weight of an apple on Earth. So if you were to jump, you could possibly reach the escape velocity and just get off the surface completely and float around in space. Walking on Eros would be barely possible. Looking at a horizon, you would see almost half the asteroid's surface just because it is so small. So yeah, that goes for a small asteroid. But what if you were to stand on the largest asteroid found? Bigger asteroids as well could be called planetoids. But they still are asteroids. One such planetoid is 4 Vesta, 4 standing for the fourth asteroid found. It is the largest asteroid in the solar system, with a diameter of 525 kilometers and a surface of 866,000 kilometers square, similar to the surface of Venezuela. Gravity is 0.25 meters per second square, so it is significantly larger than an Eros, meaning standing and moving would be easier but it is still very hard. Same as on Eros, it would feel kinda like being in a vacuum with a little gravity pulling you down. But also the temperature would not be pleasant at all, ranging from minus 188 Celsius to minus 3 Celsius. Looking at a horizon, curvature of the asteroid would be apparent as only a few kilometers in, in a distance would be visible. It would as well not be flat at all, as the surface is bombarded with meteorites constantly there would be a large craters visible all over the place. So, yeah, all in all, standing on asteroids is not an easy task at all. But in future, with better technology, it is worth experimenting with asteroids and worth learning about them.